YouTubers, I passed a small little hurdle today with the old LT1. And if we pan on down to my feet right here, we see we have the LT1 intake, which is basically a performer RPM for a little street performance motor. And we're going a little more with the LT1 this time. Gonna have the solid roller cam in it and more nitrous. So we're gonna need something that's gonna atomize the fuel better and that's going to work on the LT1 because they did not make any intakes a single plane for the LT1, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, the ports and all that are pretty much the same on a small block Chevy. So let me show you what I did. First, I, I used these studs for the uh, middle runners on the, on the side because on the LT1, uh, this is where a small block Chevy bolt is and the LT1 is moved over. And so the runners come up like this. And if you don't put a stud in there, then you can't get the bolt pass the runner and you can't get it into the actual head which kind of sucks but with a stud we can do that and I'll show you real quick what I did and if you look right here you can see I had to kind of grind a little bit in on the runner but there's plenty of meat right here I just need to make just enough room for the nut to go on top of there so we can get it in and that's not going to affect any performance of uh, this guy. I mean, the LT1 is the one I have is only a 197cc head when I ported it. And these runners are plenty big enough for the LT1. It's way better than this restrictive intake from before. And you can see I drilled a hole right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. So you can see a difference between a small block Chevy and an LT1 bolt pattern. And also, the reason why I can put studs in it with the um, studs in the head and then put the intake down is because the LT1 has a slightly different angle on the actual um, bolts. Instead of being like, you know, this, they're like this. So they kind of go more down. So let me go ahead and put the intake on there and I'll show you how easy it is. It's gonna make it really easy whenever I'm putting the RTV on the China walls and all that. So I can put it right down and not worry about alignment because I made sure I just slowly ground these out until they were just perfect to it to slide on to the head and that all the ports were aligned. Oh, before I forget, I had to use two intake gaskets on here to make sure it would lift it up because if not, on the runner was way down here, like barely like connecting with the head, so it was off the port alignment. The port alignment, you know, left to right was perfect, but up and down, I had to use two gaskets so that it would actually bring the runners up so they would match. You can see I got them pretty darn close. The only thing I need to do is um, port the gaskets a little bit because if you look right here, I uh, raised the runners on my LT1 as much as I could uh, to get it to work better. And you can see right here, this is why you have to uh, put a stud in if you're going to use the stock location on the LT1 head and there's no way you're going to fit a bolt around there and get it in there. It's not going to happen. But with a stud, of course, all you need to do is just put a little bolt right here and voila, tighten her down. We should be good. It's not quite level with the head because the um, angles change, but I'm just going to take a, a thick washer, grind it at an angle and that'll um, fix that little misalignment so we still get a nice firm seat well that's all i have with lt1 today i had the rotating assembly that's coming in uh, it's going to be a six inch rod uh with a nice little lightweight piston in there so it should rpm really good this motor i had right around 11 3 to 1 compression based on how many times the heads have been hit and the blocks been square decked and with the 54 cc or whatever uh a combustion chamber LT1. It should be uh, a pretty good little hot street motor. And everything should work pretty good. The uh, the intake is uh, within the same power band as the cam. Uh, the heads aren't too big like on my small block Chevy. They're a nice good, you know, 197 cc is when I did them. They were like 197 to 200 is when they all kind of floated around there. I did like four of them. That's all I did. And I was like, fine, that's good enough. It takes so much time to cc them. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, and I'm going to put splayed main caps on this guy because this is a factory two-bolt main. So I'm going to go to a splayed main cap. So she should be pretty darn strong. And my plan is to put a 200 shot of nitrous on this guy too. I don't really want to go much more over 200 on these stock heads because they're not very thick. So I really don't want to push them too much. But you know, uh, MLS head gasket and all that, it should be okay with a good tune-up, you know, good conservative tune. But anyways, guys, that's all I got. 
happy wrenching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.